another one. Brought into existence in 1975, the gray white shark is one of the ocean's most proficient killers. Swimming at a staggering 4,000 pounds, a bite from this bad boy would put you straight through hell and then heaven if you're a good Samaritan. And good news, this shark is present in almost every coast with warm temperatures. Isn't that great, Carl? Carl? Carl, no! Now, while great white sharks have and still do attack humans, you're about seven times more likely to die from a hot dog. So the next time you choke down a 12-inch Big Bite Glizzy from 7-Eleven with no condiments, slow down. Now that that's out of the way, sharks have the second strongest bite in the animal kingdom, and potentially the first if we're talking about a big boy. Just imagine, a human bite could take on apples, Jolly Ranchers, and a Cessna 150. Apparently. Enter the Great White, whose jaws clamp down at a whopping 20 times harder than ours. Scientists speculate that this powerful bite can almost chew a well-done steak. Besides this powerful bite, these sharks have a bunch of superpowers that are underappreciated. Now while being able to smell blood is cool and all, I hate vampires. So let's talk about their ampullae of Lorenzini. If you're wondering what that means, I don't blame you, it's a dumbass name. But basically, sharks have the ability to feel electric fields in the water and to a very surprising degree. Some people say that if you connected two AA batteries 10,000 miles away, they'd still feel it, while others claim that they could feel the heartbeat of resting fishes nearby. After being Thor's stunt double, the Great White will be quite tired. And what better way to recharge than by eating a large, scrumptious meal? These sharks will eat almost anything in the sea. Fish, seals, otters, small whales, other sharks, those car batteries I threw in the ocean. But since they're an apex predator, they carry the responsibility of being brutal as fuck. Let me introduce you to Helen. Helen's pretty much a regular shark through and through. She enjoys swimming, sleeping, and terrorizing surfers just like any old shark. But one day she did the unthinkable by taking on a goddamn humpback whale. Here's a side by side comparison. Notice how Helen is smaller. By a lot. This isn't gonna be any old takedown. This is gonna be Operation S H A R K. S stands for surprising the whale, who has absolutely no idea that Helen's been trailing him for the last three hours. H stands for hit as she tears into the whale's ass and rips through one of its vital blood vessels. A stands for ass, cause she's gonna feel like an ass for ripping ass from the ass that rips gas. R stands for resting 30 minutes, cause nobody, and I mean nobody, can handle all that ass in one take. And K stands for kill by grabbing his head and holding it underwater for an entire hour. She drowned a whale three times her size. Drowned. But this isn't the only case. With elephant seals, they'll take the tail clean off and wait for them to bleed out before eating. Another superpower these goobers exhibit is resistance. As toxins biomagnify from algae to fish to even larger fish, large animals are often left with a bunch of stuff I wouldn't touch with a 12 inch pole. As a result, great white sharks have enough of these toxins in their bloodstream to kill most mammals. But like the absolute kings they are, they feel none of the effects from these metals. However, great white sharks aren't invincible as they are susceptible to one thing and one thing only. Okay, maybe two things. Who would have guessed that it'd be the killer whale? Honestly, this isn't very surprising when the word killer is half of his name. But what is surprising is how they approach the attacks. First, they turn the shark upside down to completely disorient it. Then, they hold the shark completely still, rendering their gills useless. This goes on for an entire 15 minutes until the shark dies from a lack of oxygen. Upon witnessing this, one great white was recorded immediately diving down and swimming to Hawaii. Bro was in California. Turns out sharks never fuck around and find out. Well, actually, sometimes they fuck around. At age 26, males are sexually mature, and females even later at the age of 33. Now, great white sharks are surprisingly not that horny, which is extremely rare when it comes to the animal world. Every two years they will mate, but besides the basics, specific details of this behavior are not set in stone. Just trust me, okay? They're not set in stone, just trust me. However, there are individuals who claim to have witnessed this rare occasion. In 1991, a man named Dick Ledgerwood said he observed the old bite and slide, a quote unquote, obvious copulation. He even described the intercourse as lasting longer than 40 minutes. Luckily, this account couldn't be verified for a lot of reasons. I'm sure there was valid reasoning. Turns out they're packing 13 inches. Wait, they got two of them? 
Are you fucking serious? But with great power comes great responsibility, and male sharks will only use one of the two claspers at a time, a demonstration of excellent control of one's body. Anyways, once the gherkin has finished working, great white shark pregnancy will last 12 months, a whole 5 months longer than humans. Or was that just me? Once the months have passed, the shark babies will be born alive and ready to take on the world without either of their parents. The mother has to go back to doing important things, okay? I mean, somebody gotta take down the humpback whale.